easy. So your boy Cat Williams has set it on fire for the past week after his interview with Club Shay Shay Shannon Sharp. So Cat Williams had said a bunch of a bunch of things on that interview. One of them, you know, one of the people he talked about the most was Kevin Hart. Mm. So what are we finding out? Carl, Carl Williams is on tour right now. He's doing a tour. So we just found out that Cat Williams is taking Kevin Hart's ex-wife, Tori Hart, on tour. Mm-mm-mm-mm. I ain't gonna lie to she ain't looking good. Ain't looking good, man. Looking good. I don't know why he made that move. But uh, here's the thing. So Tori said her and Cat Williams have been friends for the past 20 years. But uh, the math and math thing, dog. Cat Williams tour was booked for months. Already was booked for months. All of a sudden, after his viral interview with Shannon Sharp, she was at it. She was at it on tour with Cat Williams. That's the one thing that I found a little bit, um, you know, it's a little fishy to me. Like, why after the interview, now you're on tour? And then Cat Williams talked a lot of crap about Kevin Hart on that interview, even though it sounded, you know, those things, you know, tend to be factual. Um, but it's not a good move. To me, I would say, first of all, I don't even know if she's a comedian, though. I know she used to be into media. She used to be into movies, all that, when she met Kevin back in the days. Um, they met in school. I think Kevin Hart went to a community, one of them community colleges in Philadelphia. That's where they met. And Kevin was in love. They got married in 2003. And Kevin Hart got big around 2004, 2005 after doing Soul Train, the movie. So she she helped Kevin Hart a lot to get where he's at right now. Because she wanted to pursue her career as well, but she decided not to do it just to help, you know, her husband to get far in life so they both can be happy. That's what she did, but things went south. So going back to what I was going to say, I mean, what I was saying, um, I don't know if she's a comedian, but I know she... She's into like, you know, movies, stuff like that, all that. But what's she gonna be doing on tour though? People thinking maybe, maybe to antagonize Kevin Hart, that's why Cat Williams picked her. If I was her, I know her and Kevin, they're not together anymore. But the thing is, they do have two um kids together. So that's one thing you don't want to do to a man. Men we are very territory, right? The minute someone wanna take something that we think, you know, is ours, we do not like that. That's one of the best ways you can hurt a man's feeling is to go sleep with his woman or take his woman. I mean, them taking pictures like that, Kevin responded it. Let me play what uh, he said. Uh, where is the video? I do have the video somewhere here about Kevin responses. Let me play it. You know, even Charlamagne, a lot of people yeah. were saying that Cat was trying to downplay your accomplishments. What to you is the driving force behind your success? Uh, my success is my success. I want everybody to win. I love everybody. I love that. Yeah. Once again, you know, your ex-wife is going on tour with Cat. I want everybody to win. I hope the tour is great. I love that. So you are supportive of her. Thank you, Mr. Hart. I appreciate you. All right, here's the thing. I know Kevin Hart does not really have strong feelings like that for um, her, I mean, his ex-wife anymore. But the fact that they do have um, kids together, he still want that respect. He still want her to behave as, you know, accordingly not to fuck up his names out there because she still keeps Kevin's name out there. She goes by Tori Hart, which is Kevin's last name. 
So because she knows Kevin is a big brain, Kevin has a reputation. So, you know, she's going to make money off that name as well, which is not a problem because they got two kids together. She deserves it because she was a part of Kevin's success. But if I were Cat Williams, I mean, it's a thing, man. These people, they're doing for the sport of a comedy. Um, comedy. It's entertaining, but it should, we should have limits, though. I personally don't know why she's on tour or why he had her on tour because she's not a comedian. Cat Williams did an interview, and he said he only takes people on tour. People are funnier than them. I mean, funnier than him. I don't think she's funny like that. Most, I ain't even gonna lie to you, most um, female comedians, they are not that funny to me. They are not that funny. And even women don't really like, watch them like that. I'm not gonna say like, but women don't really watch female comedians like that. So she posted it. This is what she said. Charlotte, Orlando, Tampa, come see me live with my good friend, Cat Williams on the Dark Mothers Tour. I mean, here's the thing. I, I'm really, I'm really like, um, I can't wait to see what she'll be doing, what will be, uh, what will be her contribution to the tour, since to me, she's not a comedian, and why just picking, why picking her, picking her, after the interview with um, Club Shay Shay, after no, the fact that she knows that Kevin and Cat Williams, they are not in good terms like that. Why even accepting the offer, though? Because Kevin has enough money. I th- I'm pretty sure Kevin can give her some money, though. But um, we're going to wait and see how far this thing going to go. I don't think they're going to sleep together. That's for facts. I don't. It might happen. It might happen. It might happen. Women are pity. She might just do it to hurt Kevin's feeling. Or he might just do it to her Kevin's feeling as well. But I don't think he's that type of guy. Uh, Cat Williams, after the interview, most people now have a lot of respect for him and people see him in a different light now. You know, I don't think he's that guy, you know, to just do some crazy things like that, sleep with your enemy's ex just to hurt their feelings. I mean, that's really petty, man. That's not, it's not necessary to do it unless, like, you guys want to be serious. But uh, Kevin is doing his thing already. He has, he, you know, they moved on, you know, he they both moved on already. But it seems like she hasn't because she's still single out there. I know it gets lonely. It gets a little harder, you know, after certain age for women, after having kids, after getting married for you just to, you know, get back to the markets or get back on the markets and date people. It's not that easy. Also, the fact that she already dated someone in the industry who has a lot of money and reputation. So she wants to make sure the next guy gonna be at least the same level as Kevin Hart or even higher which I think it won't no it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen I mean the best next thing she can get that might be Cat Williams because Cat Williams up there too he got money he's fame he's famous maybe not as famous as Kevin Hart but Cat Williams is the guy he's that guy you know what I'm saying but I don't think Cat Williams will do it um Kevin has moved on Kevin now you know has you know you know you know how black people do it right once you get a little bit of money the reason that it broke up too, because Kevin was clapping chicks out there. Yeah. Oh, man. Kevin was clapping her nickel. She was the side chick. You know how black people would do it, you, you know, which I don't, I, I don't encourage that. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not for it. When we get, once we get a little bit of money, we're trying to look for lighter skin girls. We want a girl to be a little lighter. Honestly, I don't know if that, that has to do with some psych, um, that has to do with some psychological issue or the brainwashed. Um, I don't know. Maybe just money change people, but not all people do. Not all celebrities do it, but we all know that most celebrities that's what they do it. You know, they, barely you see them going after light skin to a dark skin girl. They go after dark skin to a light skin girl. So that's why Kevin did go. He went got himself this. You know, young, tender, you know, pretty girl. She's really pretty. So she was a side chick. And um, they broke up uh, because infidelity. If I'm not mistaken, you can correct me if I'm wrong. They broke up um, because of the um, infidelity. 
But I think that was a mistake. She should not. She should not broke up with Kevin Hart. I don't know why women do that, though. Sometimes you gotta know, you know, play your position well. You know, you're the man chick. You know that guy now has fame, money. I'm not saying cheating is a good thing, but you gotta be realistic, though. Who you gonna get out there after breaking up somebody who's making who made it big like that? Kevin Hart making millions, right? After having two kids, who you think you gonna get next, though? It doesn't work like that for women. For men, it's easy. Especially men of value, it's easy. This is something happening right now with Ime Uduka and uh, Nia Long. I guarantee you Nia Long probably going to stay single for the rest of her life. It's going to be hard for her to find a guy out there to really marry her again or be with her. She might get some clip, I don't know, you know, chicks claps out there, but to get a guy, you... I know for facts that guy, that guy had an affair. Wasn't now when he had an affair, wasn't not thinking about living near long. He was just thinking about having some fun on the side and then get back home to his wife. I know, I know. I'm not trying to justify it. I'm not trying to make it seems like cheating is a good thing, but I'm being realistic, dog. That's the way it works. It's not that easy for women after a certain age, after having kids, all that, to just get back on the market. And just getting a boyfriend or getting somebody to marry you. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe if you're 22, you're 21, you got one kid, it might be easier. But after a certain age, 45, 50, man, come on, man, just stay with the guy. Stay with the guy. I believe Kevin Hart will still stay with her if she was, like, she just let it slide. She just let it slide. She, I mean, he will stay with her. But maybe he just decide she was way too good. But also... I found out that Kevin Hart has another side chick, but I don't think um he gon he gonna leave her for the the other side chick because the next side chick she's light skin too, so it's like all right, I mean, same people, you know. I'm not gonna leave a light skin to another light skin, so it makes no sense. And this girl did um I think she responded about the rumor. I also did a podcast on uh, about it on this channel. She responded and she said she ain't leaving Kevin Hart. At this point, it's like, okay, if I leave her, I, I mean, if I leave him, who am I getting next? I already got two kids from this guy. He got money. I like, who going to take me? Who going to take me to marry me? Who? She's smart. All she's asking Kevin to do, when you do your dirt, please, don't make it too obvious. I know you clapping chicks out there. Uh, yeah. Uh, so let me Google Kevin's, Kevin's heart side kick, side chick. She's fire, dog. She's fire, and uh, she's a um, flat tender. She's a flat tender, former assistant. Um, I don't know, man. I don't see her picture here. But they say she's a flat tender on, on his private jet. She's dripping milk, juicy, thick, delicious body, all that. I wish I can find her picture here. Uh, let me do Kevin Hart fly attendant. But um, going back to the main topic, it's like I don't think um, Cat Williams. Um, I mean he's being pity though. This honestly, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I think that any of you that Cat Williams did on uh, with Channel Sharp, Sharp, he had um he he was a little jealous of Kevin Hart though. There's a little bit of jealousy there. I felt it. Is uh, which is normal, you know. Human beings sometimes we tend to be jealous, you know, nothing new. Um, yeah, he had a little bit of jealous about you know, a little bit of jealousy uh, on Kevin Hart. He, no, I'm not gonna say hate, but it's a little jealous because he feels like you know, he has been working harder than Kevin Hart, which I can't prove it, but Kevin Hart has been getting ahead. But we know that the reason that you know, he got ahead because you know. The industry makes you do things that you don't want to do, like the wearing a dress thing, you know, wearing a dress thing. Um, oh, who's saying that? So them having sex. People just speak. Didi is everywhere, man. At this point, Didi doesn't speak no more. It's like everything about Didi is just quiet. It's like, I. Also, Didi got removed. I learned that today he got removed from uh, Young Miami's uh, reality, I think that was reality biography, reality show, reality show about her life. Um, uh, did he ask to be removed because he just wants to be low key right now? He doesn't want to deal with anything. 
you know, he's, he's smart because you know when that thing, if that thing comes out with Diddy in it, people going to talk again, again. Diddy's on the news. Um, So I can't find a side chick, but yeah, they're going on tour right now. And um, Kevin Hart, if, I, I watched, I mean, when I watch those type of videos, I look at it in a different angle, though. My angle was like, Kevin Hart seems to be unbothered, but he was bothered about about the news that you know even Charlotte a lot of people were saying that Cap is trying to what to you is the driving force behind your success uh my success is my success I want everybody to win I love everybody I love that once again it, it, you know, it's not being truthful though I'm not even gonna lie to you he, he tried to make it seem like he's not bothered about it but by what Cat Williams said and by about also about Cat Williams taking his his, his ex-wife on tour you know, you know, he has a team. People be like, yo, if you just try, if you try to be quiet, people might think like, oh, you know, you, you, your feelings got hurt. So just go on there. If they ask a question, just be nice about it. But I can't tell because I'm looking at a different angle. I can't tell he does. He, he wasn't not comfortable to talk about his things, though. He was not comfortable because that's the matter of your child, though. I mean, regardless if you guys are not together no more, you guys don't sleep together no more, but... They're going to be family forever. So that was just my opinion, but we're going to wait and see.